The problem of Nigeria is not gun and bullet. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. You can't fight an ideology with gun and bullet. Let me explain this either before we pray. I'm, I'm worried. Some people want to fight an ideology. How do you fight an ideology? An ideology is like a spirit. You can fight an ideology. You can't use gun and bullet to stop an ideology. The way to deal with an ideology, you engage it with wisdom. The only bullets that can kill an ideology is the bullet of knowledge. Wisdom. Wisdom. The only way, <laughs> the only way to deal with the ideology is to go back to the founder of the ideology and reprogram the ideology and stand at the central processing unit of the ideology and make sure it is rightfully corrected. If you remove the leader, have you removed the ideology? There are more crazy Namdi Kanu that will come up after Namdi. They are just hiding under him. The only way to kill this is not by gun and bullet. It's by engaging with proper dialogue, with knowledge and wisdom. This cry we are hearing here is not a cry of children. It's a cry of adults. The only way, I'm, I am not an advocate that Nigeria sh should separate, God forbid. No. But I'm saying the best way to handle this, listen to the cry of the children. Sit down. Everything is not gone and bullet. When you take the leader away, okay, take the leader away. The next, how many people are on the street? Do you know how many spirit of Biafra have entered people? Do you know how many? Do you know how many millions are carrying the spirit of Biafra around? So if you kill the leader or you take the leader away, can you take the spirit from everybody? Ojuku is not here, but Biafra is alive. It's an ideology. The man who started it has left. Before he left, he kept quiet and lived peacefully and left. But the generation that have come have picked it up. And it's even worse than his own now. And they are engaging it with an idea, with, with knowledge. So the best way to deal with this is not gun and bullet. It's not gun and bullet. When the revolution wants to start, the revolutionist, the first thing they will do, they will pass the idea and impregnant their followers. The only way to stop it is to stop them before they impregnate the followers. But if the followers are impregnated, <laughs> that's all. All of them are carrying pregnancy. They will soon deliver to other children. If you, if you have 2 million Biafra, you already have 4 million Biafra. Because they are selling the ideology. And now, I don't have a problem. But my, my own concern is that you don't take woman's life. The best way to do that, you engage them in the ideology. If you feel the ideology is not correct, you dialogue. You sit down with them. If dignifying them will make them feel important, then do that. We can't be killing people and we're getting excited. No! Boko Haram is a terrorist group. Uh -huh. Have you stopped them from killing? Are they not still killing? They're still killing. Did it started as a peaceful group? Yes. Were the ideology crazy? Yes. How do you engage it? Engage the leaders. And you see, some of these things are very spiritual. They are very spiritual. Very spiritual. Something that can die within 15 days. It can stay there for 15 years. Because the way leaders are handling it. The issue of Biafra is so simple. You are agitating? Is this what you want? Then confirm. Okay, let's do a referendum. Let's see how popular this your thing is. Or restructure Nigeria. That's all. Sit down with these boys. Make them feel important. How did the unrest in Niger Delta died? Yeradua did dialogue. That's the best way. 
This thing, ga 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 Everything, 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 gun, bullet, everything, fight. Aggression, it will take us nowhere. The world is too civilized. Look at America. Look at the way they abuse Trump and they say everything. The guy with those bands and tweet again. He tweet and continue his life. That is what we call civilization. That is what we call. You can abuse me to hell. Say whatever you want to say. It doesn't stop it. I am the president and I am the commander in charge of wherever you are. You abuse, but I'm still your president. These things are just simple maturity. To fill a political office is not maturity. It's an appointment. I'm worried. I started talking about Biafra before this happened. And I'll say, let's kill this thing. Dialogue. Dialogue. Even we as fathers, our children will just do some things that, and we see it very stupid. But we have to give them audience. I just hear them. I let them talk. And when they talk, what do we do? We trust and, and advise them. He's sitting down at the table and talking and talking. Even to take us to discuss for one month. For life not to be lost. is what's important than losing lives. If we have to engage Nam Dikanu and Ode Biafra discussing, discussing, young man, what do you want? We keep, let's do naivety in discussing than losing millions of souls. Discussion, dialogue will never kill anybody. But bullets will kill. Give Jesus a clap of I'm sure we have all heard everything Prophet Joshua Ijinla have to say concerning our country Nigeria. He mentioned that the problem of Nigeria is not just physical, that it is also spiritual. I agree with him to some extent. You see, the spiritual controls the physical. Before something happens in the physical, it has already happened in the spiritual. But personally, I am not going to excuse Tinibu and his people. I am not going to excuse this, our politicians. I'm not going to say that it is this, it is any spirit that is worrying them. These men and women, these politicians, they know what they are doing in Nigeria. They are intentionally suffering Nigerians. They will not tell me that they don't know what they are doing. But I also want us to understand something. You see, this our country, Nigeria, uh, is a very special country. In as much as God is interested in this our country, Nigeria, the devil is also interested in this country called Nigeria. But I am not going to tell you that it is spirit that is making Tinibu and his people not to do what they are supposed to do. Look at, for instance, what Governor Alex Oti is doing in uh, Abia State. Is it that that same spirit that is controlling them is not controlling Governor uh, Alex Oti? No, all this thing is decision. If you decide that you are going to do well as a president, you do well as a president. If you decide that I am coming to work, even the process in which you used to get into power, we, we even say, say everything is going to determine how you are going to function. Imagine the people that uh, Tinibu worked with. I'm telling you that he is surely going to settle all these people. Look at uh, Wike. He has made Wike a minister. He has made him minister. So all these things, they are going to work according to the way they used to come into power. That is the way they are going to operate. So I'm not going to sit here to excuse them and say, it is spirit that is doing it, it is spirit that is not doing that. No, I'm not going to do that. Also, but I have to commend the Tinibu so far. You see, as of last, last two months, eh, I'm telling you that things we are just crazy. A bag of cement was around eh, eh, 11,000. That was, that was just too bad. But right now, things are adjusting gradually and I pray and I hope that things get better and better because a lot of people are going through so much stress in this country. I pray that as things continue to adjust, it should, it should just continue like that. Things are actually reducing, unlike the way it was in the past. Look at dollar, it has actually dropped, but uh, not like the way we expect it. People are saying that he should bring it back to the way he met it. He should, at least they cannot start uh, saying good things about him. He should bring it back to the way he met it. And I'm sure that he, he, he will try because he, he does not have a choice. God is going to intervene and help him do what he's supposed to do. Because if he does not do it, if dollar pushes and breaks beyond 2009, I'm telling you, what happened in the Bible may be happening in this country. We are people who will be killing their children and eating them as food. Because we are, how do you expect people to cope? How? 
But I thank God that things are adjusting gradually. So the only thing I'm going to ask us to do is that we should continue to pray for our country, Nigeria, and let's continue to pray for the president. When I say let's pray for the president, some people I see some comments in the comment section say, Why are we going to pray for a thief? Why are we going to pray for this? Well, no, you 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 don't do that. You don't do that. First of all, Tinubu is our president, and there is nothing you and I can do about it at this moment. I've heard some people even say hey, they want him to die to them tomorrow. Listen, even though he he dies now shetima will take over as president of nigeria look at recently i've, I've not really confirmed it it's like he's not in the country or something and uh, uh, his vice shetima have taken over as the acting president of the country that is what is going to happen if anything still happens to tinibu so be careful of what you wish for if you look at when uh, good luck jonathan was the vice to yaradua when yaradua died good luck jonathan became the president they are not going to do another election it is after good the tenor have ended they will not say okay let us now do election so don't think that if anything happens to tinibu right now that uh, uh, you are going to bring p2b or another person no it will not happen like that so let us be very careful of what we wish for let us be careful of what we wish for in as much as a lot of us don't like tinibu i i saw a video i think i posted it on this channel where a pastor is saying that they are the reason why Christianity has not been totally wiped out in Nigeria right now or they have not passed a bill to Islamize Nigeria is because of Tinibu that he is fighting for the Christians even though he is a, a Muslim I don't know how true that is I don't know uh, if that is what is going on but I'm telling you that for now the devil you know is better than the angel you do not know we all say hey, let Buari go let Buari go I, I'm not saying that Buari did anything good though I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that nobody expected that this Tinibu's government is going to be worse than uh, Buhari's government. Nobody expected it at all. Nobody expected it. So let us, when we are wishing for certain things, uh, let us be very careful of the things we wish for. You see, at this moment, there is nothing you and I can do about the situation of our country, Nigeria. The country is already messed up. It's messed up. You and I cannot do anything. The only thing we can do is to complain. And I'm telling you that complaint have never solved any problem. And wishing people to die and wishing this to happen to people is not going to solve any problem. The only thing you and I can do at the moment is to pray. Let us pray to God and God is going to intervene and help fix our country Nigeria because you see if God don't intervene, if you like cry from now to tomorrow, the country will continue to be the way it is. We have tried our own our own strength, our strength have failed us. We have gone out to vote. This last election, all my life have not seen people turn up like that to come and vote. I don't know about in the past, but since I started understanding what politics and voting is, I've not seen people turn up like that to go out uh, to vote. It tells you that people we are really ready. People we are ready to put in the efforts to give, put in everything to make sure that the country changes. But it did not work like that. It tells you that you can decide on what you want and the government will give you another plan because they have their own agenda. They have their own plan for you. It's just the same thing that happens to, to us as Nigerians. You prepare your life that, oh, I want to be a doctor. The country will say, no, you will not be a doctor. You will be this and that. They will give you another purpose, another, another career, another life because of the way the system of the country is. So please, let us do where to pray for our country, Nigeria. And don't forget to also pray for yourself that God should keep you and preserve you because I believe that we are going to witness and see a greater, bigger and better Nigeria. And I want you to be part of it please don't forget share the video also share that platform share with your friends and loved ones and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you'll be notified god bless you as you do so please don't forget like the video and drop a comment so you too can continue to recommend the video to more people i'll see you in the next video you are blessed <laughs>